All right, this is uh, Juggernaut 440 coming at you from Kingdom 440. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little video here. This is this is about gathering at your Alliance resource mine. Right now we are on silver. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do here, we're going to go ahead and jump into the castle and kind of see what we're working with here. All right, so first, let's go ahead and go to my airship here. Okay, airship abilities. And yeah, we're lagging here a little bit. I probably don't have my settings optimized yet, but we'll get around to that. So if you look at my airship here, I've, uh, I've reset it. I, I haven't added any components into defense or offense here. This is just to kind of show you guys where you need to focus your abilities, right? You got your, your troop load. Oops. Your troop load. All right. This is key if you're going to be using this tactic. All right. And your all resources ability. And obviously, we're dealing with silver right now. So I've got that kicked up to the max. Okay. All right. I'm going to step out here, and we're going to go to the guard council. All right. All right, so here we got the guard council. Right now, I've, I've got this thing set up pretty much strictly for gathering and producing resources, right? So if you look at this guy here, our boy Segur, however you pronounce his name, type I'm not great with that. All right. So he has the troop load ability there at 33%. Okay. Uh, once you max him out. All right. That's going to be key. So we'll have this guy set up. And ideally, if you're going to be in a silver mine, you would have this guy maxed. All right. I'm, I'm not quite there yet. I'm definitely not on my farm. All right. If you're at silver, this is going to be your guy. You look at that last ability down there, iron, iron gathering speed. That'll get you an extra 45% for gathering iron. All right, so we see that. Now let me go look to the troop formation. Now if you look at my troop formation down here, you're going to see what I'm going to be working with. All right, so for this one here, we're, we're working mostly with, or all with, T8 artillery. And there's a reason behind that, all right? T8 artillery has a really, I mean, for a T8, right? It's got great troop load stats, all right? So you can actually go into the, your troop load stats here. All right, so you, you open up your troop building, whatever it is, artillery, cavalry, and then you click on this little I right here, okay? And here, this is going to give you individual stats for the, that particular troop. Okay, so we've got the load here at 21. All right, so let's go back just one to T7 artillery, right? You look at the troop load there, that's all the way down to 12. Uh, so it's a huge difference jumping out from 9 to 9, or sorry, from 7 to 8. Now let's go back to over to 5 for your smaller farms, right? Okay, so you look at this, the troop load is 16. All right, so T5 and T8 are going to be your best bet here with what, I, what I'm working with. Uh, as you get up to the T9s and T10s, you'll look at the troop load here. It's, it's a little bit higher, right? Okay, so now that that's done, all right, so I want you, we're going to go back outside the castle here. All right, so you see. I've got another 14 hours left for gathering, right? Well, let's say I want to pull out early. Um, again, this is a farm, so I don't really care how long she's in there. But uh, I want to get as many resources as I can. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click on the Alliance Resource Mine. And view details, all right? So when you look at the, the, the details here, you're going to see the speed that you're gathering at, all right? 
you're going to see the total amount that you've gathered, right? So I've gathered what it says is 236,000, okay? So I'm going to back out of here. All right. And again, actually, I'm going to go back in there. All right, so look at the, uh, the total amount in there because uh, this next trick is going to or uh, is going to suck all the, well, not all those, quite a huge chunk of those resources out, okay? So again, uh, when you're sending this out, troop load is key. So you can get your troop load from research, obviously. Research in development. All right. Yep, you got your development, troop load there. That gives you five. Uh, depending on your castle level, you can get a little bit more over here. Okay. Don't even think, yeah, she's all maxed out at 23. Okay. All right. And also, if you go up to your talents here, you get a little bit more troop load. Again, this is for a farm, so you're obviously not going to set up your main account this way. She's got a few talent points to spare. Okay. So you go over here to the balance tab. And right there, on the second one, you've got troop load one. Okay. It's going to give you an extra 5%. With her, all right, my my jug's revenge. I've got I've got her all the way to emergency recall. And the reason I put this on there is like if my farm's really far away, I can get her back there as soon as possible. I don't have to play the waiting game or waste a teleport to get her back home. All right. If you actually have enough points and you want to keep them in the alliance resource mine even longer, you go up here to March capacity one and March capacity two, right? So obviously I've got my economy points set up. All right, so if you're gathering iron, let's draw all these people. Or you're gathering silver, wherever it comes out. There you go, okay. So I'm all the way here. I think that's about as far as I'm gonna get for a while. All right, so I've got her up to this point, right? Not all farms or castles are gonna be at this point. So again, this is just with this particular setup. Okay, so I'm going to duck out of here. Now, let's look at the guards that are set up on the march. Because this is kind of important um, if you want to run this, this little trick for gathering resources, and a lot of them. All right, so you look at our boy, Renee. okay? At his current level, he has a plus 31% troop load, okay? And then I have Blaise Pascal, okay? All right, so again, he maxed out. He's got 30%. He's a green guard, really easy to level up. Um, you can no longer buy him from the hero store unless, uh, unless they've already been put in there by your R4 or R5, but you can still get him through here, your recruitment hall. All right, she doesn't have, I think she's only got, left I've already spent them all but yeah you can get them through your recruitment all over here on the left hand side just a regular recruit not a master recruit uh, I personally suggest maxing them all out uh, so that they're not dropping when you're doing master recruits okay all right so let's go back to the council right so when I sent it out in the council here, uh, lag, of course. Uh, I click here on ambassador, right? I check them out again. All right, so when I sent it out and it landed on that, uh, the Alliance resource mine, I had Segur equipped, okay, or in the council. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to Constance, okay? So Constance is now set my council. All right. Normally that wouldn't matter. All right. But what we're gonna do here is a little trick. Okay. And just so you always know, before you do this next trick, make sure that your gathering equipment is equipped. Because if you don't, 
it's actually going to do the reverse of what we're trying to do here. So you got your gathering speed, all right, and this one down here. Okay, so make sure those are equipped before you do this next step. All right, as long as those are equipped, this should work. Okay, so I'm going to go back outside my castle. As you see here, it's got 14 hours left, right? Okay, so I'm going to click on my castle here, and I should have some gathering speed boosts. Okay, go to state buffs, scroll down a little bit. Gathering speed, boom. Yeah, I got one eight, eight hour gathering cart boost, okay? I usually buy these up. I donate to my alliance anyways with my farms, whether I'm in the main alliance or I'm in the farm alliance. And we're currently in the KVK alliance. So click on that and watch the magic, okay? All right, so keep in mind with this gathering sp speed boost, uh, this only works if you are either on the tile already or in the Alliance uh, resource mine. If you're not, it's not going to be activated, okay? So bam, now we're down to four hours, okay? So if I would have waited another hour, hour and a half, it would have come out of the mine right away. But I'm actually glad it didn't, okay? So now let's go in here. And I'm going to click on this. Again, go to Details. All right, now look how much she's gathered. It doesn't seem like a whole lot more, right? Uh, I think it was maybe an extra 40,000 40, silver, but we're not done yet, okay? All right, so I'm gonna call her back in order to speed it up. I normally wouldn't do this if she's so close to home, but I'm gonna use emergency recall. All right, so keep remember that number. It was what, two, 267,000, boom. Get back home fast so I can get in and out of this farm because nobody likes farming. All right, now I'm going to go to my reports here. Okay. Resources gathered. Let's scroll down. Bam, that number was what, 267,000? Now we're at 436,000 silver. Okay. So basically, it's just, it's, it's messing with the, with the troop load. Um, I don't understand all the mechanics of it, so I'm, uh, I'm not going to explain what I think, why I think this is happening, right? It's all the new guard system. All I know is it works. I mess about on my farms to kind of figure these kind of things out. So that's how I always have a ton of silver in my, in my farms, or well, except for when I'm giving it away, helping out friends, you know, helping out some of the some of the tower leaders or the palace leaders to kind of push uh, push whatever they're trying to push to get to the next level. So that, that's basically it. Um, if you have any questions or, you know, comments, maybe you've got a better way. Maybe, you know, you, you saw something that I missed. Uh, drop a comment below. Um, really, I, I'm doing these videos to, you know, help my alliance, help my kingdom, and, and really just kind of help everybody. You know, everybody needs silver uh, for the most part, right? Um, it, it only gets more expensive the, the more you grow. So I hope that helps somebody out there. And uh, again, this is Juggernaut440 from Kingdom440. And uh, this won't be my last video. Thanks.